everyone! In today's video, we're going to be going through 2021 AMC 10A problem number 19. And it tells us that the area bounded by the graph of this complicated expression is m plus n pi, where m and n are integers, and we want to find m plus n. So this initial equation actually gives us four equations, depending on whether the absolute value is positive or negative. So let's write out the, some of these equations. So if both of our absolute values are positive, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 3x minus 3y plus 3x plus 3y, which is just equal to 6x. We can complete the square and move this to the other side and see that this expression is equal to x minus 3 squared plus y squared, which is equal to 9. And for those of you who don't know, this represents the equation of a circle that has a center of 3, 0, and a radius of 3. Let's look at some other expressions. We have x squared plus y squared is equal to 3x minus 3y plus negative 3x minus 3y. This is equivalent to negative 6y, and this evaluates to x squared plus y plus 3 squared is equal to 9, again by completing the square and bringing it over to the other side. And this is a circle of center 0, negative 3 with radius 3. For our other two equations, we do a similar process. We have x squared plus y squared equals 3y minus 3x plus 3x plus 3y. This is equal to 6y, so we have we have x squared, sorry, we have x squared plus y minus 3 squared, and this is equal to 9. This is a circle of radius 0, comma 3 with the radius 3. And our last equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to 3y minus 3x plus negative 3x minus 3y. This is equivalent to negative 6x. This gives us an equation of x plus 3 squared plus y squared again just by completing the square. This is a circle of center negative 3 comma 0 and radius 3. So now that we have all the expressions, you can graph them and you'll see that it looks something like this. So we have all these circles of radius 3. This is the point 0, 0. And from here, it's pretty easy to calculate the area. We have two full circles of radius 3, that gives us an area of 2 times 3 squared pi, which is just 18 pi. And we also have this square in the middle that has a side length of 6, so its area is 6 squared, which is 36. So our total area is 36 plus 18 pi, and we're trying to find m plus n, which is 36 plus 18, or 54. So our answer is E, 54. So then in this problem, all we did was expand out for all possible combinations of our absolute values. When you have absolute values, that's a pretty common thing to do, especially when we're trying to look for an area. And we just plotted all of those graphs and found that our answer was 36 plus 18 pi. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe.